That's Tom Myers, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming with this week's Believe in the Blue update. Hope everyone had a great winter break. We're back to school here and off and rolling. Want to give you an update on a few upcoming events going on Thursday evening. That's tomorrow. We have a home wrestling meet here against West Branch at 6 o'clock. Also going to have some youth wrestling going on there. We also have a home uh, varsity bowling meet, and that is against Makoka. And Makoka is a very strong bowling team. Made the state tournament last year. Uh, so two events for you to, to uh, attend there and support our student-athletes. Uh, tomorrow. Then on Friday, we have four basketball games at home. We play Iowa City Regina. JV girls and bulls, boys both play at 4.30. Varsity girls starting about 6.15 and then varsity boys starting at 7.30 roughly. So I encourage you to come out to that. We also have a home bowling meet that night at Western Dubuque. Saturday, our girls have a special opportunity to play at the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids. They're going to be playing Comanche. Uh, once again, that is Saturday. We play at 9.15. If you enjoy basketball, Great environment to watch a game. Great environment to sit there and watch games all day long. We are the first game of many. The games go on into the evening, so I encourage you to uh, check that out. and Go out to Cedar Rapids and watch a great game and hang out maybe and watch some more games that way. Um, going into next week, uh, on Monday evening, we have JV. Um, Girls and boys and varsity girls and boys basketball at Kelmus Wheatland. We do not have a game Tuesday night, so Monday night we have that. Tuesday night we have our board meeting. That's moved from the typical Monday night, but Tuesday night we have a board meeting at 6:30, and that is in the in the main off in the main boardroom here at the middle school high school. And then uh, next week, also on the 12th, we play middle school boys basketball, 7th and 8th grade, kicking off their seasons. And the 8th grade plays at home against North Cedar, while the 7th grade plays at North Cedar. And we have also have wrestling at Tipton that evening. And then Friday, uh, we have a JV girls, JV boys, and varsity boys basketball versus Comanche. And those all start up at 4.30. Uh, just to kind of let you know that there is not a varsity girls game that night because we're playing that on Saturday. So just some information for you of upcoming things going on. I encourage you, once again, anytime you ever want to come out here, feel free to come out. We'd be happy to, to have you visit us that way. Whenever the case may be, I want to give you a little update here on something that uh, the school board did at the last meeting, the, the promise to Iowa, or the promise of Iowa. It's basically supporting public education as we enter into this legislative session and beyond. I want to read you a little uh, um, excerpt from the promise here. The campaign's focus is on building public understanding about the work of public schools today, which are innovating to ensure students are positioned for success in their futures. Iowa's future leaders, innovators, and citizens are its children. They are the promise of Iowa. Their future is created every day by Iowa public schools. Iowa public schools are open to all students and develop their potential, strengthen communities, and contribute to a strong economy. There's more than that to the promise. You'll see that in the paper. I also put that on the website here uh, or on our Facebook page along with uh, the video, the, the promise um, of Iowa that way too for all of you to see. Last thing I want to share with you today here is the Most Likely to Succeed book. I know I've shared this before, but I'm going to read another part of it here by Tony Wagner. It talks about innovation. I'm going to just kind of read a couple paragraphs or kind of parts of a couple paragraphs. Um, today, motivated students can become experts on a topic in days, not weeks or years. They can find online the most compelling essays, lectures, videos, and forums. They can ask questions to people all over the world and get answers in minutes. So what kind of classroom experience will be important to kids with this powerful support team? Sitting passively in the chair is not one of them. Memorizing math formulas and science definitions is not one of them. Memorizing dates and names of historical events is not one of them. Worrying about the accent marks as you're writing in a foreign language is not one of them. These century-old classroom tasks are obsolete, and other than inertia, there's no reason uh, for students to drill endlessly on things when, in the very best case, they'll be almost as good as a smartphone. While innovation poses challenges, it creates breathtaking opportunities. Our education system needs to help kids accelerate their potential in the innovation area, not hold them back. Um, and the role of education is no longer to teach content, but to help children learn in a world that rewards the innovate, innovative and, pu and punishes the formulaic. So just kind of thinking about those things that way, you know, we really want to, you know, uh, to create opportunities for students where they're passionate about what they're, what they're learning, they're engaged in what they're learning, it means something to them, and ultimately by connecting it to real-world learning opportunities. We're trying to do that, and I think we're uh, making progress that way with a continuous uh, improvement, just like everything is in life that way, but uh, 
once again, just want to leave you with that for today. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know here. One other thing, I guess that way at the end of the semester is uh, next Friday, and that is January 13th. We do not have school on January 16th on Martin Luther King Day. King Day. That is a, a, a teacher work day, but we will resume school again on January 17th on that Tuesday. So just so you know, next week's a normal week. Then after that, we have a shortened week again. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the school at any time. Uh, we'll go from there. Have a great week, everyone.